Hi, I'm Cameron McFarlane. And I'm Maria Zanotti. And welcome, welcome to this week's special edition of Spud News. <laughs> this week is Homecoming Week, and as a part of Homecoming Week, students and staff are encouraged to dress up each day. Today, Tuesday, is Decades Day. Freshmen are 70s, sophomores are 80s, juniors are 90s, and seniors are 2000s. Tomorrow on Wednesday is Anything But a Backpack, and Thursday is White Lie T-shirts. The Student Council will be giving small prizes to the best student outfits each day. If teachers see a student with an exceptionally good outfit, please send them to room 113 during spud time for a picture and to enter their name in a drawing for that day. Please join your school counselors and social workers for lunch today, Tuesday, October 5th in the student parking lot. We will provide boxes of popcorn to the first 120 students who join us. Friday is a big day, it's homecoming. The parade starts at 4 p.m., the football game starts at 6 p.m., and the dance starts at 8 p.m. Here are the expectations and roles for the dance. Line up outside door A, yes, the door by the construction. Breathalyzers will be taken as you enter. You will not be allowed in with unserved attention. Speak with your principal. Check in with your prepaid tickets or purchase a ticket by the door. If bringing a guest paperwork must be turned in by the end of the day Thursday. The follow, follow school dress codes. Masks must be worn. Congratulations to the 2021 Morehead High School Homecoming King Martin Gregoire and Queen Autumn Grunwald. Calling all gymnasts. There will be an informational meeting for all gymnasts interested in joining the Spuds Gymnastics team on Monday, October 11th at 7 p.m. We will meet at Morehead High School in room 111. If you are unable to attend the meeting, please contact Tony Kleber. Mora J.O. Volleyball Registration is open. Mora Junior Volleyball is designed for girls and young women in grades 5 to 11 who will be attending Mora Public Schools or are homeschooled and live in the Mora Public School District. To enhance their individual and team volleyball skills through practice and participation in tournaments, it is a great way to learn volleyball and strive to the next level and make like lifelong friends. To register, go to morajuniors.com and click on Registration for 2022 season link. If you want to know more about Moorhead Juniors Volleyball, please join us Monday, October 4th at 7 p.m. at Horizon East Middle School in the cafeteria for our new parent meeting. We will cover upcoming important dates, fundraising requirements, volunteering expectations, tryout tips, and what to expect in the season. Can't wait to see you there. Writers Club will host an introductory meeting on Wednesday, October 13th at 3.45 in Mrs. Weber's room, 391. If you're a fancy writing, come and check us out. All right, now for spud weather. We have an awesome week ahead for homecoming. As you can see, Tuesday through Saturday will be in the mid to upper 70s and falling a bit on Sunday to 66. All week long, we are sunny with a little bit of clouds. Go spuds. All right, spuds, now for our lunch menu for the week. Today, grilled cheese or turkey sandwich for lunch. Tomorrow, Wednesday, October 6th, chicken drumstick and waffle sticks or a chef salad. For Thursday, October 7th, cheese or pepperoni pizza or a bagel and yogurt pack, cheese pizza or bagel with cream cheese. Next Monday, October 11th, hamburger on a bun or sun butter sandwich. Enjoy, spuds. This is Cameron McFarland, Thea Kunkka, and Gracie Chandler with, with some, some entertainment, entertainment news. We're here in front of the Spirit Week photo booth. Make sure to stop by and take a picture this week. Don't forget to tag Spudbook on Instagram. DM us your pictures or email them to mhs.yearbook at moreheadschools.org so we can get you in the yearbook. Hey, Cammy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what rock group has four men that don't sing? What? Mount Rushmore. <laughs> This week we're doing the top song in trend through the decades. 60s, the top song was The Twist by Chubby Checker, and the top trend was Lava Lamps. 70s, the top song was Close to You by The Carpenters, and the top trend was Circle Glasses. In the 80s, the top song was Take On Me by AHA, and the top trend was Mullets. The 90s, the top song was Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot, and the trend was Grunge. In the 2000s, the top song was Hey Ya by Outkast, and the top trends was Low Rise Jeans. And on this day in history, on October 5th, 1947, President Harry Truman made the first ever televised presidential address from the White House. 
On October 5th, 1974, American David Kunst completed the first round the world journey on foot. He left his hometown of Waseca, Minnesota on June 20th, 1970. It took him four years and 21 pairs of shoes to complete the 14,500 mile journey. That's this week's Spud Entertainment News. Now on to sports with Abby Carvel. Hi, I'm Abby Carvel. And I'm Caleb Lai, and welcome to this week's edition of Triple A Events. And today, October 5th, we have a girls' tennis meet versus Perham at Courts Plus, and 6 o'clock, a girls' swimming and diving versus Perham at Moorhead High, and 7 o'clock, a girls' soccer meet versus East Grand Forks at Moorhead, and 7.30, a girls' volleyball game versus DGF at DGF. On Thursday, October 7th, at 4 o'clock p.m., there is a cross-country boys and girls varsity meet against Perham High School at Perham High School. And then at 7 o'clock that same day, there is a boys soccer varsity game against St. Cloud Tech right here at Moorhead High. So Friday, October 8th at 6 o'clock p.m. is our homecoming football game against Elk River. And afterwards at 8 o'clock, we will be having our homecoming dance in the field house right here. And then for Saturday, October 9th, we have at 9 a.m. a debate tournament versus Lakeville North at Lakeville North High School and also a girls swimming and diving versus Davies at Davies High School. And then at 12 o'clock, we have a boys soccer game versus Waconia at Waconia High School and a girls volleyball game versus Buffalo at Moorhead High. And then also at 2 o'clock, a girls soccer game versus Detroit Lakes at Moorhead. I'm Omar. And I'm Caleb. And today we have some students and teachers that would like to show off some of their spud spirit and how they feel about homecoming week. Students and teachers love homecoming week and today they're here to tell you what they're most excited for. Roll, Roll the, the footage. footage. Uh, probably decade. Decade day for sure. Decade day. Dress up in the 90s. Uh, definitely the uh, like country club versus country. Yeah, I agree with that. Yep. The whole thing, getting time with my friends. I like the 2000s theme. I also like the decades day. Why is that? I think I'll look good in it. The 2000s stuff? Yeah. White lie. Yeah. Yeah. Why white lie? I don't know. I'm yeah. excited to see everyone's white lie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Decades. The country versus country club. Yeah, Just going to the dance and hanging out with friends there, I guess. Backpack, no backpack. Yeah, you no know, backpack on. Yeah, so I love energy, and so to me, homecoming is a chance to bring our school together and show our school spirit because we are spuds. I love homecoming week just because of the energy that it brings into the school. And, um, it's fun to have the different themes of the day. It's fun just to have everyone looking forward to all of the different activities. Um, it's just a fun energy. I like the community that we have, and it's a very fun place to be. Our teams are very competitive. Uh, yeah, I like the competitive aspect. Uh, I am proud to be a school boy. I show my school spirit by showing up to games and supporting other teams. Uh, yes, I am proud to be a spud, and I show my school spirit by we're dressing up for homecoming week. Uh, I'm proud to be a spud because I think we create a great community here. Um, I really like our community that we have and all the people here. Well, I just started last year, and my favorite part about this is the community. I love it. The, the teachers are coming together, they're all working together. Even the students come together, they all work together. It's just an awesome community. Oh, no. Obviously the spuds. Morehead, yeah. Uh, the spuds. Hello. Morehead. Morehead. Spuds, obviously. Well, the spuds, of course, are always going to win the football game. No doubt about that. Spuds.
Wait. Restart. <laughs> okay.